Iliac bone fracture. Iliac bone fracture got unique characteristics, so we start with the simple ones. You can have stable fractures such as avulsion of the iliac spine, such as anterior superior iliac spine with the sartorius, or avulsion of the anterior inferior iliac spine due to the pull of the direct head of directus femoris. Iliac bone can be part of the establar fractures, and when it breaks as part of the establar fracture, it can be an associated both column fracture, and the iliac fracture will be coronal. You see it in a coronal way. And you can also see the spare sign, which is part of the posterior ilium in its undisplaced position, and you can see that in the operator view. The fracture ilium also can be part of pelvic fracture, and that can be partially stable, like posterior iliac bone fracture in the crescent type. Or the fracture pelvis can be unstable, and you will have unilateral iliac fracture and complete disruption of the posterior arch complex. If it is not treated adequately, it can lead to malunion, deformity of the iliac wing, and leg length discrepancy. The isolated iliac wing fracture occurs due to a direct blow to the pelvis. It is usually rotationally and vertically stable, and usually it is treated conservatively. It is not a benign injury. It can be a serious injury, especially if the fracture ilium is comminuted. The comminuted iliac fracture are uncommon and difficult to treat. They can be significant associated injuries, such as soft tissue injury, iliac and the flank soft tissue injuries, such as iliac and the flank degloving injuries, which is called marelle level lesion. In the internal degloving, the fat is sheared off the fascia. An open fracture and entrapment of the bowel in the fracture site. There might be a variety of abdominal, vascular, and neurological injuries. If the fracture extends into the greater sciatic notch, the patient may have an arterial injury or lumbosacral plexus injury. In general, treatment is non-operative treatment if the fracture ilium is isolated and non-displaced. Surgery is done by open reduction and internal fixation for displaced fracture. In case of open fracture, the patient may need colostomy. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.